My name is Jessica Brooks and I'm a Farmland and Biodiversity Advisor for the Game Wildlife Conservation Trust and I work with the Martin Down Farm Supercluster which is 43 farms on Cranbourne Chase um, to coordinate conservation activities for the farmers, provide advice and organise events. We held a farm insect walk um, co-hosted with Bug Life in aid of the national campaign Bees Needs Week. Um, with some funding from Natural England's uh, Landscape for Wild Pollinators initiative. Every year we run a number of events um, to educate our farmers, local villagers, cluster volunteers, um, along with partnership staff from the Nature Reserve, uh, AONB and Natural England, and about different wildlife, soil and water subjects. For me it was rewarding to see it dawn on people how much life is out there and how reliant it is on our management. I was asked lots of um, really interesting questions which to me said that people were really thinking about it and that there's a real appetite to help um, our wild pollinators which is fantastic. We saw butterflies, moths, beetles, flies and bees um, so although it's Bees Needs Week um, I would say it's, it's a really good opportunity to open people's eyes to the wider pollinator community so yeah, it's been a really good day, I've really enjoyed it. We particularly work with farmers um, and so being able to show farmers all the different types of pollinators that there are in the margins is absolutely invaluable. It was also really good to see so many little microhabitats around so that we could see where all sorts of different things could potentially be um, because nothing wants exactly the same. I came here to learn as much as I could but um, I certainly learned how much insect life there is in diverse strips around the woodlands and the grass fields um, and the arable fields. Um, you know, to see the amount of butterflies that we saw, um, which you always take for granted, um, to see the, the smaller flies and the, the bees that we saw was, was incredible. I think we need to be more in touch with what actually is out there on those margins um, and around the edges of the fields where, where mainly the, the, the the birds would nest and, and they would, would feed and to see what to actually see where all these chick this chick life is to, to actually see what plants grow and what it likes and what you need to provide for these for these chicks it's nice to see even something i would think of as a weed like a, a creeping thistle is actually quite a valuable habitat this isn't just a spin for next time my grassland management is criticized but actually everything has a place you know ivy you know, that weed we all love to hate actually has you know obviously found out today has a has a good place in providing habitat and, and good food you know, for out of season. There is a lot more depth to it, you know, small buzzy things that I would ignore or worry if they're going to eat my crops in the past. Now I actually have a place and have a role and, and are part of a bigger, bigger chain. So. You know, there's so much out there that's tiny and inconspicuous that you would just never even think about while you're walking by. And actually, every tiny little thing in the countryside plays an integral part in the whole system. So um, I think people have gone away today with a real appreciation of, of um, all the small things.